Dear colleagues, uh, I'm uh, really indebted to the organizers of this conference uh, for the invitation to join it and to express my uh, deep tribute to uh, Professor uh, Vadim Alexandrovich Malashov. <coughs> Uh, uh, my talk will, not, uh, will be not on uh, mathematics, uh, it is the other uh, uh, field uh, where uh, uh, Professor Malashev was very active as uh, Andrei, uh, sorry, uh, Alexander Andreevich said right now. <clears throat> this is interdisciplinary uh, um, applications of uh, mathematics and physics in uh, uh, science uh, about society about uh, in human science and social science uh, you may see here uh, in the in this slide uh, the logo of uh, our seminar that worked uh, in uh, department of chemistry and still is working in uh, the uh, institute of control science <coughs> Uh, Vadim Alexandrovich uh, participated actively in the seminar. In the seminar, he did a talk there, and he um, was in the organizing committee of two uh, conferences on so, uh, sorts of physics and social engineering in uh, 2015 and 2018. Actually, he was the first who suggested to organize such an um, interdisciplinary conference, and he um, made a very deep uh, impact on uh, this uh, conference. Here is uh, the uh, picture uh, of Professor Malashev uh, at uh, the first uh, social physics conference, and uh, the next slide briefly shows the uh, topics uh, on the um, uh, all the presentations on the second conference uh, and you may see that this con conference was really uh, serious and really interdisciplinary i will tell about uh, uh, some physical uh, approach to uh, interpretation of historical phenomena uh, history as a science uh, is uh, uh, um, is uh, maybe uh, most far from uh, uh, from uh, natural sciences because uh, it catastrophically lacks uh, the um, uh, available um, and. Uh, Uh, well, uh, uh, well proven data. Uh, most of uh, the parameters uh, that uh, characterize uh, some uh, historical actors uh, like uh, all, uh, state uh, or in the uh, past uh, people and so forth, uh, they are the results of estimate. Nevertheless, there are uh, many, uh, maybe here is, is better, uh, uh, there are many uh, factors, uh, physical factors that influence, uh, strongly influence the historical processes. And uh, the most one, uh, the, the first one is the flow of solar energy uh, to uh, Earth uh, envelope uh, uh, so because all human systems uh, are self-organized uh, uh, dissipative systems and uh, so small fluctuations of this flow um, uh, make very strong impact on all processes in human societies. Uh, the second one is oh okay. Uh, the second one is that uh, all social systems are uh, um, multi-agent in their nature, uh, although uh, the number of uh, people uh, in any social system are 
uh, much less uh, the numbers uh, than Avogadro number. Uh, so uh, noun of this system is really a microscopic one. Uh, and uh, the third, uh, third item is that uh, uh, all social constructions uh, have a um, finite life cycle. Uh, because of uh, exchange of energy between uh, actors and, uh, sorry, uh, because of uh, exchange of information, which uh, gives rise to uh, distributed intelligence uh, and uh, some sort of collective psyche. Uh, this one, uh, this aspect was all, all um, was uh, investigated, is investigating uh, uh, by uh, new humanitarian science like uh, psycho history or uh, uh, call. Uh, the mathematical history, and this is also uh, uh, an official, uh, more or less, uh, name. Uh, I will uh, uh, show three illustrations on uh, three uh, first uh, items in this uh, uh, screen. <laughs> the flow of solar energy uh, is uh, reflected by total solar irradiance uh, in Russian Solnichne uh, Postoyanne solar constant, which is not a constant. Uh, it uh, fluctuates and uh, oscillates uh, due to well-known solar cycles uh, and uh, fluctuates in uh, more uh, slow secular, uh, secular variations, uh, which uh, may uh, bring uh, the a variation of uh, average uh, year temperature of uh, Earth's surface up to one uh, degree, which is very high, very much uh, for agricultural civilization. Uh, so this uh, relatively slow uh, fluctuations uh, had a big impact on the uh, uh, agricultural historical civilizations. Uh, to uh, uh, to trace uh, this uh, oscillation uh, uh, in geophysics, uh, some uh, so-called proxy uh, uh, proxy variables are used. Mostly, this is concentration of uh, cosmogenic isotopes in uh, some deposits, uh, like uh, glaciers uh, or. Uh, 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 this is uh, the, the second part or, or um, uh, annual tree uh, rings, annual rings of the uh, tree on the log. Uh, so uh, the average of this concentration shows some uh, more or less uh, uh, infinite uh, curve that uh, qualitatively reflects uh, the uh, de deviations of uh, total sol solar irradiance. Uh, and uh, the uh, mm, uh, amplitude of uh, common solar cycles, uh, which is traced by the number of sunspots uh, uh, during four last uh, centuries, but not earlier, uh, when telescopes obtained uh, appeared, also uh, helped to uh, restore uh, this uh, trend. A maxima of this trend correspond more, uh, to more energy uh, getting to the Earth's surface, uh, to uh, better uh, harvests to uh, growth of uh, agricultural production and uh, growth of local civilization, so, uh, whereas minima and especially uh, the way from maxima to minima uh, uh, grow some uh, large scale disasters, 
uh, which uh, are uh, very well known in the human history. Uh, here at the uh, right uh, side, uh, the uh, time coordinate is from right to left. Uh, we will discuss uh, so-called medieval maximum or medieval optimum. Uh, this is uh, the uh, uh, peak at, uh, well, very broad peak at, uh, at uh, from 10th to 13th uh, century uh, Anna Domini, uh, which uh, coincides with the um, uh, period of, uh, in Russian, Vysokoy Srednivikovye. Uh, and uh, the, um, uh, all this proxy data uh, needs some uh, calibration. Uh, they may be uh, used in uh, some uh, really complicated uh, formulas for uh, geo uh, geophysics, uh, but uh, with a variation of some uh, 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 some constants, uh, so, uh, some uh, uh, parameters uh, to reach, uh, to, uh, to go from uh, the qualitative uh, trend uh, to some uh, numbers. Uh, this is an illustration, uh, one and the same data on the solar activity uh, is uh, fit to two uh, really different uh, trends uh, by two uh, geophysicists. Uh, so uh, it is no, uh, up to now, it is no uh, mean to uh, restore uh, the, uh, say, uh, the middle uh, average year temperature uh, quality, uh, quantitatively. This is only qualitative, uh, qualitative trend. Uh, but the uh, minima and maxima uh, are uh, well uh, known in uh, geophysics, and uh, this is this mound or minima uh, minimum between uh, 17th and 18th century uh, uh, coincide in time with so called little ice edge. Uh, age, uh, Malolidnikov period, uh, which is uh, well known on the uh, cold winters and uh, many climatic catastrophes. <clears throat> Here we see uh, another qualitative uh, plot, uh, and uh, the uh, most heavy uh, historical uh, periods uh, uh, on the uh, decline of uh, uh, of uh, uh, the um, total solar, solar irradiance. Uh, well, uh, it, it was hardly one year in the uh, Earth history without any war, but uh, there are very heavy wars, like 100-year wars, and epidemic, and rebels, and so forth, and they mostly are uh, on the uh, decline from maximum to minima. Uh, however, the World War I and World War II uh, are in the beginning of the uh, present uh, world, uh, global warming. Uh, so they are, uh, they have uh, some uh, endogenic reasons. Uh, <clears throat> we will discuss medieval optimum. Uh, and uh, there are uh, other proxy data, like in this slide. Uh, this is uh, biodiversity from uh, paleobotanics data. Uh, and well, this is uh, high middle age, ages period, uh, which uh, is characterized by growth of uh, cities, but growth of uh, technique, culture, uh, and uh, increase of populations. In, and in the same time, it is a, a period of so-called uh, feudal uh, fragmentation. And uh, the idea was that uh, these two uh, processes are interdependent, uh, that uh, feudal fragmentation 
uh, may be uh, explained also by the uh, uh, rise of wealth uh, of uh, landowners in this period. I had to add that uh, in historical science uh, is uh, uh, well known that uh, say uh, Roman uh, pessimum, uh, this is uh, the uh, from fourth to sixth century uh, of our era, Anna Domini, uh, a time of great mi migration of peoples uh, and uh, 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 crash of uh, Eastern uh, Rome Empire. Uh, this is, uh, it, it has some uh, climatic uh, grounds. Uh, but uh, as for other uh, extremes, uh, extrema in uh, this plot, uh, this is uh, not uh, not well uh, recognized. So uh, we, we will consider the medieval optimum. <laughs> uh, uh, we did an agent modeling. Uh, uh, of uh, where the uh, agent uh, like circle uh, with radius uh, proportional to uh, some uh, energy like substance say uh, the wealth are moving and uh, colliding uh, within the rectangle uh, uh, field. <clears throat> Uh, at each uh, time step, uh, an agent get uh, an, uh, the, the same amount of, of the wealth from outside and uh, lost uh, less amount or, or maybe less amount proportional to uh, its uh, wealth status uh, for living expenses. When uh, two uh, agents, uh, more or less comparable in wealth, uh, collided, uh, they uh, lost uh, some uh, fraction of their wealth uh, to uh, modeling a fight. When uh, collided uh, two uh, uh, different uh, agents, uh, the bigger uh, swallowed the smaller, and the smaller as a uh, See, uh, as a vassal uh, shared uh, its income of wealth uh, at uh, each step uh, with its senior. And if the senior had a uh, too big vassal, it may uh, separate uh, with the corresponding shrinking of a big agent, which is uh, hard to do uh, in this simple means. <laughs> Uh, this is a snapshot uh, of uh, the uh, uh, the agents uh, after, uh, say, uh, three thousand uh, time steps. Uh, distribution at the uh, right side uh, shows that the uh, distribution of uh, distribution of uh, agents over wealth is uh, definitely hierarchical. Uh, it is uh, more or less uh, the same result uh, which was uh, much earlier obtained in other uh, models, uh, agent models with collisions and uh, exchange of uh, something like energy or power or wealth. Uh, so uh, we may uh, think that our model is more or less uh, good. And if the uh, income of energy in uh, of wealth in each step uh, was abruptly uh, doubled. Uh, the uh, community of agents uh, uh, equalized uh, by their wealth, uh, and uh, this was uh, more or less uh, a matter of uh, appearance of um, uh, landlords. Uh, uh, comparable on their wealth uh, and uh, getting more wealth uh, be became richer uh, in this uh, in this uh, uh, state they uh, were less dependent on the uh, central power from one side 
and uh, more active and aggressive uh, to their neighborhood and uh, that's uh, it gives uh, some qualitative, uh, not explanation, but com uh, comments uh, on the process of uh, uh, fortification in uh, Eastern Europe, uh, which is called encastellation or uh, feudal revolution in uh, historical science. <laughs> uh, the same process of feudal uh, fragmentation was observed in other regions like Kiev, uh, Kievan, Rus, uh, or China, which were not uh, directly uh, connected with uh, Western Europe at that time. <laughs> so uh, we may suggest that uh, all uh, these uh, uh, fragmentation processes uh, were uh, of, uh, well, geophysical origination or cosmophysical origination. Uh, and uh, when uh, the in, uh, flow of uh, wealth, uh, doubled flow of wealth, uh, then uh, kept, was kept uh, constant in, uh, in each step, then the uh, hierarchy was gradually restored. Uh, so this equalization was a temporary uh, metastable uh, effect, uh, but in uh, uh, historical reality, the um, uh, uh, the unification of uh, split uh, state. Uh, 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 has taken uh, several uh, centuries uh, because uh, these centuries were uh, mostly on the decline of the solar uh, uh, energy uh, flow, decline of production, and so uh, the hostility and many, many wars. Uh, the other uh, example is uh, the hi hyperbolic growth of Earth population. Uh, this non-classical idea is nevertheless um, now uh, recognized by historical and uh, also demographic community. Uh, the first uh, uh, paper on this uh, topic uh, uh, shown in red uh just uh, published a feed of uh, data for uh, earth population uh, to the uh, uh, inverse uh, power uh, trend uh, the problem as uh, in uh, historical uh, cl climatology is that uh, there is a very uh, very few amount of reliable data. Uh, census uh, in uh, most uh, uh, developed uh, states of Europe uh, have about uh, 200 years history. In Russia, uh, the first census was uh, in the end of uh, 19th century. Uh, before this, uh, it was uh, fragment, uh, fragmental information and estimates, and uh, in uh, the early history, only estimates. Uh, so uh, this uh, hyperbolic trend is well is now well popular uh, in humanitarian uh, people, uh, where it is very uh, uh, regular and very nice. Uh, but uh, it is also recognized by uh, the other part of uh, research community. This is uh, from um, uh, demographic uh, paper. And uh, if we look at the table uh, at upper part, we will see that the uh, parameters of uh, demographic models in four different uh, scientists uh, who professionally work in demography differ uh, uh, two times, yes, red and all, and almost three times uh, uh, underlined by blue. So uh, the problem of historical science is the problem of the lack of reliable data. 
uh, there are war, uh, uh, several models uh, that explained uh, these dynamics. Uh, well, uh, well, these models are more or less uh, uh, easy to construct because uh, they just um, decline from uh, the exponential growth, uh, which was uh, uh, suggested for uh, population growth by Maritus. Uh, when uh, uh, the uh, speed of uh, when the speed of growth uh speed of well uh, population growth is uh, proportional not to first uh, uh power uh, but to some other power of uh, population uh, uh, what is v what is v uh, v capital uh, what is it your question is uh, what may be the physical grounds for it what is v, v? Uh, as for reliability of uh, reliability of uh, this data, uh, this uh, trend in uh, the second half of twentieth uh, uh, second millennium uh, is more or less good. But when we try to have uh, to uh, put uh, all available data uh, that are believed to be reliable. Uh, we see uh, different parts which are not uh, easy to uh, put into one and the same uh, formula. Moreover, uh, in different countries, uh, the uh, inverse uh, power dynamics uh, is absorbed, uh, but uh, the, uh, they fit to models with different uh, parameters. So we have a, a lot of uh, mm, fragmented uh, picture, uh, which uh, coalesce in, uh, in, some, uh, in something like uh, growth uh, by uh, hyperbolic dynamics. Uh, this dynamics uh, does not uh, seem to be uh, the universal law uh, as uh, it is uh, more appropriate in uh, multidisciplinary in interdisciplinary uh, history. Uh, to begin with, uh, in the uh, mid uh, 20th century, uh, this uh, growth became became linear. Uh, and uh, what we can say that uh, in some time from the mid uh, millennium uh, till the end of uh, uh, second millennium, uh, we have a sort of uh, inverse power law of uh, uh, population size. Uh, which uh, was uh, probably was not uh, observed before and is not observed now. Uh, it is a, a linear growth, uh, which is called demographic transition. And physical uh, uh, grounds for it uh, may go from the uh, middle school uh, uh, test of physics. Uh, melting of naphthalene or any other uh, 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 crystalline uh, sample. Uh, the time of temperature of the sample, uh, the dependence of temperature of the sample from time uh, uh, goes to plateau when uh, the powder become, becomes to melt. Uh, formally, it means that the sample have, uh, has infin in infinite heat cap capacity. Uh, in uh, uh, real uh, physical measurement, uh, the uh, inverse uh, trend, inverse uh, dynamics uh, is observed only in vicinity of uh, phase transition, not necessarily melting point. Uh, it is uh, it uh, corresponds to uh, other uh, transitions as well. In the 
uh, in uh, historical uh, well uh, when go going back to history we may say that uh, the coalescence of uh, fragmented uh, feudal uh, country uh, or fragmented uh, people into one state uh, is a sort of a phase transition uh, uh, and uh, uh, the um, uh, uh, this transition means that uh, the level of violence and uh, the amount of wars uh, between neighboring uh, polities uh, go, uh, goes less, uh, which means that uh, uh, the uh, living conditions of uh, people, especially uh, those who live uh, at the border uh, between two uh, alien uh, states, sub-states, uh, becomes much better. Uh, so we may uh, draw uh, this qualitative scheme that uh, uh, slow process of coalescence of uh, small polities into uh, bigger ones uh, which goes uh, in the time scale of uh, human history, that is uh, in uh, thousands of years, uh, is accompanied by, uh, by uh, growth, uh, uh, brings the better living conditions for people in these uh, domains of order and uh, uh, people as uh, 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 living species uh, react by uh, growing population. So uh, this uh, population growth uh, re uh, reflects uh, the uh, uh, process of uh, phase transition, a sort of phase transition of enlargement uh, of, his, uh, of the states in historical time. And the last, if I have several minutes, Okay, uh, uh, the last small uh, example is uh, uh, the du duration of autocracy. It was uh, uh, um, uh, it, it was after the cited uh, paper on the screen. Uh, the author considered uh, a time uh li living term and uh the fate of uh emperors of ancient rome uh almost uh two-thirds of these emperors were uh, 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 died uh in uh, of violence uh most of them were murdered uh, some of them died in battle, uh, several uh, one uh, committed suicide, and uh, the author uh, approximated their uh, ruling and living term uh, by uh, the uh, um, function uh, used mostly in technical uh, engineering uh, to estimate the uh, uh, live, uh, uh, lifetime of technical uh, uh, of technical goods uh, variable distribution. <laughs> Uh, it is interesting that uh, the uh, p uh, first period, uh, when uh, the uh, things are failed because of defects, uh, inherent de defects, uh, is uh, called infant mortality in uh, uh, Western uh, uh, technical engineering. <laughs> uh, really, uh, the, uh, there was a little bit other uh, function. Uh, this is a, there was a, a combination of a stretch exponent, but uh, nevertheless, uh, this uh, graph is uh, looking very like uh, mortality curve uh, in uh, human demography. <coughs> 
no, uh, when we uh, compare this uh, graph with the uh, diagram, with histogram uh, taken on historical data, this is a uh, uh, ruling term uh, on abscissa and number of uh, rulers uh, uh, on ordinate. Uh, so we see something like sub-maximum. Uh, and this sort of submaxima uh, are uh, observed in other uh, regions and other historical periods. And when we take all together, uh, we have uh, statistics of almost uh, 800 uh, uh, self rulers uh, in different uh, parts of the world. And uh, we have a sort uh, of uh, infant mort mortality and a sort of uh, maximum, uh, well, distinct maximum uh, of uh, between, uh, say, 11 and uh, 16 years of uh, wear off. Uh, we may uh, we may fit this graph uh, with a hyperbolic uh, curve and see this uh, two maximum, uh, which may reflect the endogenic uh, reasons for uh, the terminating of uh, self ruling of terminating of monarchy by uh, the uh, life duration of supporting structures, that is uh, King's Court, Karolevsky Dvor. This is all, thank you for your attention. Any questions? Sorry, can't you show once more the uh, uh, curve of population? Uh, this uh, last 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 uh, uh, last period population uh, uh, again the model yes i so simply show the curve i say the, the experimental hmm? data i say <laughs> where, where is hyperbolic where is hyperbolic and where is linear uh, ah no there where is change to from hyperbolic yes uh, it is linear in the uh, no no it it uh, yeah before before yeah before work. yes before no before I say experimental data uh, experimental data how it looks like looks looks like before it was yes before oh, uh, no no is, uh, I say the curve the curve uh, demographic uh, paper the curves yes. is just uh, just uh, they, uh, uh, well uh, in this can you show uh, the curves uh, yeah uh, offers. Uh, declare that uh, the uh, dynamics of uh, uh, world population growth uh, is not a uh, Malthusian one, uh, not exponential one, but well, uh, is uh, closer to uh, hyper hyperbolic one. And but can't to, you show uh, the curve? Uh, the curve, the, the show the uh, curve, yes. Regular hyperbola, they, uh, uh, put n, which is a population size, in denominator. So now it is hyperbola uh, or not? But as the next slide, I, I think, uh, shows, uh, it is easy to uh, get uh, something like uh, inverse uh, power dynamic. So now it is hyperbolic or not? I don't understand. Now it is what is what in what regime? Uh, the, uh, we are living now in hyperbolic or in linear? Uh, Just uh, now. Uh, what? Это демографы и вопрос к ним. Ну вот сейчас сейчас у нас что гербанические режим режимы линейные я не понял вот сейчас в 2023 году. We may be this is relative or logarithmic. Uh, but uh, this uh, uh, this slide um, well uh, supports uh, that uh, the hyperbolic 
uh, growth of uh, Earth population now is uh, um, the idea which uh, demographs demographists themselves agree. Uh, say uh, 12 years ago or 10 years ago, it was not the, the case. So now, now, what is now? Сейчас то что у нас? I only can interpret. So, do you claim that all the fluctuations in a, in a social life very much correlated with the physical state of our whole system? Well, uh, um, uh, yes. Uh, uh, well, uh, it's it's not a thesis, uh, but. Uh, I probably had to uh, put it uh, as a statement that uh, historical uh, states, historical agriculture uh, and traditional uh, li uh, traditional life uh, before uh, technical revolution uh, was very prone to uh, fluctuations of uh, the energy from sun. It was uh, rarely the case. Uh, and moreover, uh, the uh, social systems are never uh, microscopic in a strict uh, sense. So uh, they uh, um, there are strong fluctuations which may uh, bring uh, very uh, big changes uh, due to more, maybe uh, uh, different in uh, this, uh, very different changes due to the same uh, uh, reasons, uh, the same actions. So can you show once more the curves, the curves of population curves? Yeah, now, now. after, after melting. Uh, something like that, but uh, as uh, two world wars showed, mm -hmm. uh, the endogenic uh, processes uh, may be even more dangerous. Uh, the, uh, um, uh, the, uh, the situation uh, changed uh, in this way that uh, uh, Earth civilization now is not strongly dependent on uh, some fluctuations of solar energy, at least in the uh, most developed part. But uh, we face new uh, challenges, uh, which we uh, uh, do not know how to uh, how to work with them. <laughs> 